Well, Merry Christmas. It's Monday the 20th of December. Christmas Day is five days away. And I'm in the South Island. Now you won't see this until after Christmas, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> I'm just um, to the southwest of Blenheim, revisiting a shack I discovered last year. Not sure, it's a pretty, um, to be honest, it's a pretty harsh and contrasty sort of a day. The opposite of what it was last year, because it was raining last year. And it was dull, and the sky was very overcast. So I'm not sure which one's worse. But anyway, this is the start of the video. I'm travelling between Blenheim and Nelson, and hopefully getting enough images to put together a video. So hang with me, and we'll see what we can come up with. Thank you. dry hills. Now these are dry hills, these are the weather hills. Um, it wasn't very long ago that a fire started at the back of Blenheim on uh, the roadside and burnt across the weather hills and right out past State Highway 1 out towards the Redwood. It was a pretty disastrous fire. I don't recall whether there were any houses burnt but there were definitely a lot of trees and some other structures burnt as well. Good morning it's the 22nd of December three sleeps till Christmas and I'm southwest of Nelson now it's about 10 o'clock and a long sought after a long sought after subject I've discovered and I'm really quite pleased with it. <coughs> Bathe in the morning light this historic pub, which is gorgeous to be fair, right on the roadside. I've been planning to photograph this for well over a year. Uh, wasn't too sure exactly where it was found it some time ago on Google Maps and again on Flickr. So I'll put some information in the description about the history of this, this building. It's quite interesting from that point of view. You can see that it's had quite a history, originally a shingle roof covered with now corrugated iron, weatherboard exterior which is in pretty um, sad repair really beyond restoration but a fantastic building so there you go first shot of the day This is the Ernest Rutherford Memorial, um, just outside Brightwater. It's his birthplace, and of course, Ernest Rutherford, Sir Ernest Rutherford, is famous for splitting the atom. Thank you. Okay, this is an old favourite. I visit here regularly. It's a particularly rewarding image to capture, and I keep coming back here because one day it will disappear. So it's just a little bit south of um, Brightwater. Beautiful 
piece of New Zealand history. Welcome back. Now I'm just going to finish the video with a few buildings just to the south of Wakefield. There's a house there that uh, I find very attractive and I've got quite a few photos of that followed by one that's um, included in a cattle um, cattle yards and then a couple around uh, Wakefield itself as a village. Wakefield's quite historic it's named after an original uh, pioneering um, person in the Nelson area. Now this is the end of the video and I really do appreciate it particularly if you've watched for this far. If you're new to the channel then seriously consider subscribing I think you are to yourself if you like the content. If you're already here and including those who are new please like the video if you've enjoyed the content. If you want to give me some feedback please do so on the YouTube page in the space provided I read all the comments and reply to all of them. Thank you very much for viewing. I really do appreciate your support and your continued um, patronage of this channel. So thank you again and let's see you next time. Thank you.